Our top 10 weather day lived up to the hype and a lot of people took the opportunity to enjoy the outdoors, get outside a little bit. Photojournalist Mike Durenberger got outside at Crystal Lake where hundreds were ready to take a polar plunge. In three, two, one. We are out in Brainsville today at the South Metro Polar Plunge. It's complete shock uh, and it's a si sort of a survival mode. You run like hell to get out of there and into the tent. But it's refreshing and it's so good for your skin. So. <laughs> That's why I'm here. It's yeah. all about the cosmetic right. yeah. stuff. You know? Why are we doing this? Attaboy. For Sammy. Woo! We've been Sammy Sinkers for the last win. five years. He's got Down syndrome, and so we plunge every year for him. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> Woo! There we go, there we go. You're in shock when you hit the water? <laughs> it's when you get out of the water that it's freezing, and you just book it <laughs> to try and warm up. <laughs> no, it's a good cause, and more power to him to have the courage to do it. I mean, you're going to jump because it's a good cause. Every dollar you raise goes right back to the sports programming that you love to see to all of our leadership programs there's so many things that these funds help uh, this is my eighth time go yes nice job they're a great way to engage with local communities and i mean where else do you have this many frozen lakes to jump into everybody seems to love it and it's a great time jump this is one of the like most beautiful days for it it's sunny it's like what like 25 degrees out today it's great Looked like fun. Nearly 500 people took the plunge today, and that event raised more than $160,000 for the Special Olympics.